Hello and welcome to the Weekly Geek. I'm Christopher Meddings. And I'm Carl Hughes. We're here to talk about lots of stuff and things and trailers. It's been it's, such an exciting week. It's been the best week ever. It's been nerdgasm <laughs> from, from like the moment I woke up last week to every day since. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fatigued by how much this cool stuff the villain I'm not sure how much it. more I can take physically. Yes. And mentally and everything. It's just too good. Yeah, definitely. Should we just go straight to straight the big, into the big it. thing? Let's, let's watch Star Wars again. Let's watch Star Wars again. I've seen it enough. Right, okay. I almost didn't watch that. <laughs> so I was, I was saving it for when we uh, saw Avengers because they yeah. were showing it, and then I heard it was a different thing. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna watch it." I don't. Uh, my only reaction to that really <laughs> is that I simultaneously felt like a seven-year-old and an old man about to have a heart attack at the same time. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was yeah, just yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, there's so much in there that's incredible, and like uh, you, you've said before. Just the opening shot has more epic in that one shot than the entire prequel trilogy Definitely. combined. It's so cool. Because they just couldn't do that before and make it look real. No, I mean, not they've had CG before, but they couldn't make that look epic. No. And now they can. Now that they've got rid of George Lucas, it looks very clear that we're on a, on a bit of a winner. I think I don't know what you guys feel, but it's quite satisfying to see Lucasfilm pop up. But it's yeah. like, <laughs> not see you, Why, Lucas. Apparently, this has all been discussed with George Lucas, and there's a massive part. I mean, because obviously, all this news, especially with all the Star Wars stuff, and we're going to be talking about that a little bit more. That's all come out this week because of the Star Wars celebration in Anaheim this this week has been yeah. going on, and there's been so much news and information and cool stuff. And there's a really big part of me that hopes George Lucas is there. I don't think he is, but I really hope he's there so that everyone can sort of see the absolute overwhelming love that everybody has got for a thing that came from his brain. I wonder how he feels. I, I'm sure he's because, the happiest fellow in the world. Well, no, but I mean, he's, he's definitely heard all the bad stuff that's said about the prequel Absolutely, trilogy. Yeah. Do, do you, and now people are saying, oh, thank God he's gone. Yeah. No, I am. No offence. He's no, given absolutely. me some of the best memories I had as a child, but yeah. he did ruin it. Yeah. I mean, if you watch feels, you know if you watch Star Wars one, the first one that, that he directed, it's it's heavily flawed. I mean, yeah. as a director, and he is flawed. He can't really direct actors. He can't write dialogue. No. And he's got this obsession with the seventies swipe across <laughs> the, the screen, screen wipe stuff. Yeah. It's just <laughs> awful. And it, it's, it's nice that they've kept that in like the the following films. And it's kind of more of a nod to him and respect yeah, to him. Yeah. Total respect for George Lucas, but he, he's not a very good director. Yeah, it's, it, yeah he's just cares? got the creative mind yeah, to build a universe, cares? which is cool. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm forever grateful that I've got Star Wars in my life. Yeah, and yeah, this whether is, he's in it or not. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Absolutely. Uh, just want to. I love how all of our reactions to the Star Wars trailer have been like of a cautious, feral animal who wants human touch but is scared to love again. <laughs> yeah, that kind of vibe. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, there's been a, a, more stuff that, that was revealed at the uh, Anaheim. The the ball droid in it, the, the uh, BB 8 is called. It, it was rumoured for ages when the first teaser trailer came out, we saw. BB-8 yeah. rolling across the sand belting it across. yeah and everyone went 
CGI. And this rumour came out that it's not CGI, it's a, it's a natural thing. Well, like a, a robot. Physical, like yeah, a physical robot. Control. Oh. It is. Oh. They willed that son of a bitch on the stage, and it's a real thing that, that moves is like that. very cool. See, what they've done is, I love this, is they've gone back to George Lucas' mentality of in the first one. Oh, that the technology doesn't exist to invent to, to create that. Let's, Let's invent, invent that Let's technology. Invent it, yeah. Um, I, I do love physical effects over CG. Yeah. Um, CG is brilliant and it looks great when it works. Yeah, it's something medical, something scientific. There's a trigger in your brain. It yeah. knows when it's not real, so you yeah, can never truly right. believe it. That's why like the old seventies horror movies. Yeah, yeah, they're better because they're still physical effects. Exactly you know right. I mean? Yeah, and the old Bond films and so on. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's really cool because he also did it in Star Trek. He was yeah. building really big, massive sets. Yeah. He didn't have to. He could just green screen the lot. And he spent most of the budget building these huge sets. Got a, very I, small portions of the film, and it worked really well. I, I mean, he gets a lot of hate, I think. But since the release of that trailer that we've just watched, everybody wants J.J. Yeah. J. Abrams to do every film ever made ever for the rest of time. <laughs> Between <laughs> yeah. him and Joss Whedon, we've got all the films covered. All right, yeah, we don't yeah, need anybody yeah. else. And uh, let, let's remember the physical effect thing. He's building a new... Millennium. Well, he's built it. Obviously, built a he's Falcon. built a Millennium Falcon. He's not CG'd it like some would. Yeah, it's not just some room. He's built it. <laughs> so somewhere in the UK right now, there's a Millennium Falcon just sitting yep. there in Pinewood somewhere, knocking around. Yeah. I wonder who gets to keep it. A raid! Let's do a raid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put it in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, 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 if I could get one selfie with the Millennium Falcon yeah. in the background, I'd, that'd be that's my Facebook profile forever. Because it's it, it, in Lord of the Rings, they built they build it, but they build miniatures. Yeah. But he hasn't built a miniature. He's built life-size proper, Millennium yeah. Falcon and X-Wings and all this. And he's, oh, that's amazing to just be able to go, yeah, we'll build one. It's Why not? so obvious that he's a fan and he wants this to be what a fan would want to see. Yes. And from that trailer, it's got chrome stormtroopers in it. It's got the Millennium Falcon. It's got hand frigging Solo in it. Chewy without grey hair. I mean, who cares? Mm. Um, <laughs> why people They live to 700. Like yeah, right. That's not a fact. I made it up. I just made it up. Uh, I don't actually know the lifestyle of a, of a Wookiee, but no. I'm not that interested either. Hairy. Hairy, not grey yet. No <laughs> given, quite frankly. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I liked all that. Uh, it's, uh, my my favourite reaction probably I saw on Twitter, someone said, uh, that wasn't a trailer, it was a time machine. It's taken me back to when I was seven. Oh, that's nice. Like, nice. That's quite nice. Because I did, I got that little, that little, sh- oh, I think it was a moment with the, the, the Falcon. It just flew into that sort of, the back end. Yeah, of the exhaust thing. Yeah. yeah. And it was and TIE Fighter chasing it and it was literally like I am seven this is amazing so cool <laughs> so yeah again uh, um, Star Wars was only the first of the big announcements there yeah, the second big announcement was I Rogue One Rogue One which is the first of the standalone films which are going to be called what are they called again uh, they're going to be called the anthology films so okay. you've got Rogue, Rogue One is the first one, and there's all these rumours. One might be Boba Fett, one might be an Obi-Wan Well, I film. thought the first one was going to be Boba Fett. That's what they said before. It kept kept changing. Yeah, Rogue yeah, One yeah. is pretty much yeah. done now and ready so to go. T- t- before we started filming, you told me what Rogue One was going to be based on. Right, Impossibly. so Rogue One tell is... Me. Tell uh, the people. There's been lots of discussion about what Rogue One is, and what we've been told so far is that, first of all, it's the, the director said it's called Star Wars. We're going to be showing wars. It's going to be a war in space. So straight away, that's already super cool. But the, the storyline is based around the rebels stealing the plans for the Death Star. So at a guess, the last thing we're going to see is uh, the heroes of that, or the lone survivor or whatever, yeah. handing the plans to young Princess Leia. Don't know how they're going to do that yet. But mm, oh, somebody, yeah. somebody did mention getting Carrie Fisher's daughter to play. Well, she looks like her. She looks a bit like her. But I think I've seen a picture. I don't think it would matter. It was, it's enough of a nod, I think, even yeah. if you use it. She looks a bit like her. But yeah. Well, you've seen the things, the bit off topic, but Paul Walker from yeah. <clears throat> Fast and Furious, the kind yeah. of like CG remodeled his face. Yeah, and used his brothers do, and stuff. Yeah, to yeah. do a bit in the film. So it's doable, you know. We yeah. have the technology. We can yeah, yeah. make her younger. Oh, Terminator Salvation when they had Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They face. can just do that because she hasn't got to say much. They, they can re- re- replay the old audio remastered yeah. and just show us slotting something into. I'll stop now because it's, it's getting a bit too uh, yeah. promiscuous. <laughs> but yeah, no, it works. Uh, everything about Rogue One looks cool everything about Star Wars looks cool and I'm so so excited <laughs> I'm really I'm right there I, I, I want it to be you know hurry up and be Christmas and that was my one gripe actually about that trailer 
next Christmas. What the? What's what's Christmas got to do with the Star Wars universe? That kind of took me out of it for a split second. It. I think it's more to do with they don't want to compete. Yeah. All the superhero films come out yeah. around this time. They're just. Why would you? you don't, one, they don't need to compete. No, what I'm saying is, I don't. I, I, I appreciate that it's not coming out yet. Yeah. And it's not coming yeah. out until Christmas. But why put that on the trailer? Did they I say mean, Christmas? Yeah, I thought it, it said right, December. No, it, it says Christmas. I don't, I don't pay attention to the writing. No, I sure wish I had. <laughs> yeah. it took me out, well, like, don't say Christmas. It's got no place in the Star Wars universe. Well, there is. There is a Star Wars Christmas special. Let's never talk of it, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> never talk of it. <laughs> that, that is out. something that didn't happen, and I didn't see, and my eyes don't still bleed nightly over it. <laughs> Let's ignore that. Well, there is that Christmas release date that, that films do. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a thing, you know. You've got summer releases and the Christmas releases. It's just Yeah, call it a winter release. It's fine. I can get, or call it the Hoth season release. Something. Just not Christmas. Of all the things that people are moaning about on Twitter about this, <laughs> you're moaning about I the know. fact they said Christmas. <laughs> I know. Shut up and just say just, everything was good. Everything was good, <laughs> apart from the Christmas thing. Um, just so, to go back to Rogue One a bit. Uh, they, they had the whole panel up there, and yeah. it's set between episodes three and four. So you've got the build up of. So basically, it's yeah. set in the same timeline as Star Wars Rebels, which is the yeah, kids' yeah, animated yeah. thing, which they've just announced season two of. Just released a trailer for that, and it's got lots and lots of Darth Vader in it, mm-hmm. who was sadly lacking from series one, I felt yeah. personally. Um, but they've said that there can be a lot of crossover between the film and. Well, in fact, all of the anthology films that are planned, they said there could be a lot of crossover with the TV output as well. See, I like that. I like, yeah. I like it when anybody does that. Absolutely, yeah. It'll work That's really cool. well. And we'll talk about that later when we talk about Daredevil, because yeah, I like that they yeah. do that too. But uh, just a little thing from Twitter, because obviously this has gone mental over Twitter. It's still trending now, yeah. Yeah, and there's just a little... Star Wars, we love you. I know. <laughs> so beautiful. I mean, I watched, episode, I watched Empire Strikes Back last night, just to sort of you know get into the vibe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that yet. I'll do that closer. Closer to the time. Well, I knew we were going to be talking about it today, so yeah, I sort of, yeah. you know, I'll do that. <laughs> and you forget how good it is and how many good moments there are in it. The, the, my favourite bit is definitely the bit where um, uh, Lando betrays Han and Leia and it just opens up and Darth's there with Boba yeah, Fett standing yeah, behind yeah, him yeah. and Han just doesn't even blink. It just goes bang. It's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Is that enough Star Wars stuff for one day? It is. It's never enough Star Wars for one day. <laughs> but anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll move on. Although someone did say, uh, wouldn't it be really funny if the whole of the Star Wars new film came out and it absolutely sucked and it was an entire film about pod racing. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and there's just this epic battle constantly going on, just right and left of the yeah. screen. Yeah, right. Nice. Lightsaber battles, but you yeah. just see the edge of like, the yeah. tip of it. And just stuff. as a pod race with yeah, What's yeah. going on over there? Okay, I'm racing, I'm racing, man. So, yeah. I think it should be uh, Luke Skywalker gets the plans to the Death Star and makes his own. No, it's his own. Becomes becomes the new empire. Yeah, yeah. And just stands on top of it, surfing it, going, "Yeah." You're just thinking of you're just thinking of silver surfing. surfing, Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Uh, Let's talk about the other trailer, the other big trailer that came out. Not as long. This trailer, obviously. Superman, Batman. Superman v. Well, Batman v. Superman. Yeah. Yeah. What were your thoughts on that? I liked it. I loved it. It's. uh, I'm excited about that as well. I hated it. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. No, I really liked it. <laughs> it's good to see your face, really. <laughs> no, I, I, I really liked it. For a split second, I felt so betrayed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. Um, lots of people are hating it um, because they're morons, mostly. And uh, my reason for, for calling them morons is because it's a teaser trailer. You see, like, four seconds of Superman, two seconds of Batman. Don't judge the goddamn film. Yes, it looks dark. It looks like yeah. a Zack Snyder film. That's what he does. He does his 300 sucker punch. They're all dark, dark hues. Everything's dark. Yeah. I know it's Superman. I know we want him to be bright and airy and optimistic and full of hope. We want that. We'll probably get that because he knows it. He underst- Zack Snyder understands Superman. I don't know. That doesn't seem very like a real thing after seeing Man of Steel but that was <laughs> I enjoyed Man of Steel but that was mostly like Christopher it. Nolan standing behind everyone going yes. why do you need to do that Yeah, uh, because it's in the comics yeah you don't care about the comics no, we do care about yeah, the comics yeah. so yeah Zack Snyder knows Superman he knows it's it's the he's the iconic superhero Yeah, the one that not everybody is going to love this film no it, it's then, never let's, let's just deal with that and move on Yeah, and leave them to it you know yeah. what I mean? Is, is this is this what you want? We could go back to the eighty nine Batman if you like, and we could have st- 
stupid cars racing up walls and mm-hmm. things blowing off the side. And George Clooney comes back with his bat nipples on their ear. And uh, do you want to see that? Do you want it dark or do you want it light? You can't have both. Just deal with what we've got and then everything will be fine. I don't want to see bat nipples. Do you want to see bat nipples? I always want to see bat nipples. But do you want to see it in a film? No. No? I don't want to see it in a film. Do you want to see bat nipples? How about you? Do you want to see bat nipples? No? So let's not do it. So am I the only one that wants to see bat nipples? Yes. God damn it. Shh. Paul right, let's, let me down, man. Let's watch the trailer and watch it again and you just like it. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Friggin' lootly. Is it really surprising that the most powerful man in the world should be a figure of controversy? We, as a population on this planet, have been looking for a savior. We're talking about a being whose very existence they are not telling us the truth. challenges our own sense of priority in the universe. Human beings have a horrible track record of Tragedy. following people with great power. Power corrupts, and absolute power, power corrupts absolutely. Chaos. Maybe he's just a guy trying to do the right no, thing. We know better now, don't we? Devils don't come from hell beneath us. They brought their warrior. No, they come from the sky. The world has been so caught up with what he can do that no one has asked what he should do. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's how it starts. The fever, the rage, the feeling of powerlessness that turns good men cruel. Sorry, but if you don't like that film, then you can just the f- off. Because <laughs> it's just it's amazing. Could, could, you, like could, you, could you imagine if that wasn't there and it was it was uh, George Clooney saying, "Do you think he can bleed? I yeah. think he should bleed." Suddenly, I want to kill myself. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want Mister Freeze back? So yeah. We, let's just watch it and enjoy it. It will be. I, that's it. Yeah, I've got high hopes based on that trailer. Yes. Uh, I, I, I'm, st- I'm skeptical about everything, especially Batman, Superman stuff. It's so easy oh, to... it's definitely got its faults. The trailer's definitely Absolutely. got problems. They're there, but yeah. They're not the problems that people are moaning about. No. Oh, it's too dark. So what? It's, it's someone's. It's it's Zack Snyder's take on the two most iconic characters in fiction. Let's friggin' face it. Yeah. It's not going to be the same as my take. That's not the film I'd make. It's no. not the film you'd make. No, of course it's not. But it's his film. He's he's obviously proven to a studio that he can make money out of a film. Therefore, yeah. he's got the power to do that. I haven't got the power to do that. Because whether we like it or not, it's all about money. It's, yeah. it's just what it is. That's why we've got so many super, superhero films. Yeah. Because it's And they're money. all so very different. This isn't a Marvel film. So anybody who's expecting a f***ing Marvel film, tough. Go and watch Avengers. I'm going to be. It's going to be ace. But this isn't that. This is a completely different thing. And yeah. to, to slate the two. To, to, oh, and the other thing that really got my goat was, um, oh, the Star Wars trailer looks really good. Yeah, it does. The Batman trailer, though, look at it in comparison. They're two completely different things. <laughs> yeah. Just two completely different directors. One's a <clears throat> teaser trailer that's 30 seconds long, and the other one's a two minute trailer. It's, it, 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 no, yeah. just no. I mean, the problem the problem I've got with it is that it looks very Frank Miller, Dark yeah. Knight Returns, which is the story of the end of Batman's public career. Yeah, yeah. Kind of thing. Spoilers. Yeah. Um, where he fights Superman at the end to just so he can say to himself pretty much I can beat Superman Absolutely, I am yeah. the best see you later drops mic leaves he drops the mic <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> which is odd considering they're saying 
that they're making a Justice this League movie. A, yeah, this is the beginning of the Justice League franchise. Yeah, something. and the reason why uh, Dark Knight, the, the, well, the reason why the fight between Batman and Superman is so important is because they've had an entire career of, of being best mates, being yeah. best mates, working together, turning up and announced. They know each other's secret identities. They know everything. Well, about the, each the way other. it always works in comics is that the two heroes meet, have a misunderstanding, yeah, have a fight. Resolve their differences and then work together and to beat the body, yeah. and then have have a lifetime of being mostly mates. Yeah, right? that's pretty much how every superhero yeah. combination works. But looking at that, well, they've, they've twisted it a bit. So the, what we know is the final fight between the two. Yeah, is their it's first, the first fight. fight yeah. So again, I, I expected myself to really hate that because I I don't particularly like Frank Miller as he is now. No. And I was really disgusted that they were using him to reference this, but it's working so far for me. It's left me in a state where I don't know what the story is, I don't know how this is all going to pan out, and I love the fact that I don't. Yeah. Uh, it's so easy with Avengers to say, well, I know <clears throat> Ultron's going to lose. Yeah. Because it's the Avengers. Because saying that, I don't want to contradict myself here, I kind of do, but... Go on. As, as much as I, I'd like him to stick to the comic books... I also don't want them to. Yeah. I, I'd like a fresh story. Yeah, which I think we're going to be, be getting nice. here. But what I don't want is a horrible, evolved mess no. of lots of stories to make up a new one. I'd like it if they took like the Frank Miller Elements. one and, and yeah. were like, okay, well, this isn't the last fight, this is the first fight, and Batman's yeah. actually 20. Whatever. Yeah. They can yeah. still fight at the end. Pick and choose. They've got 75 years' worth of Superman stories to, yeah. to pick awesome bits from. That's If that... That's blatantly what they are going to do. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah, me too. My only proviso is that they don't go anywhere near uh, Batman Beyond. Because <laughs> I hate that crap with a passion. <laughs> the, the only, the saving grace of Batman Beyond yeah. is I really like uh, Amanda Waller and Batman. Yeah. Because yeah. their relationship is really cool. Yeah, that's true. That's about it. That is about yeah, the only that, thing. The, yeah, I like that and that's, that's it. I hate the red. The red logo <laughs> gets me every time. I'd probably really like that series if he didn't have the red logo. But anyway, let's um, <laughs> should we talk about a different trailer? Because like I said, yeah, like we said, this <laughs> another trailer was released. This literally came Star Wars Episode Seven trailer. Yeah, Rogue One trailer suddenly released as well. Yeah, and then boom, fantastic. Oh, and then Batman trailer, boom, straight yeah. there. Well, th- was the Batman one meant to be getting released? Uh, not till. Not, not till like four days after it. Oh, is that it? I thought it, it was a while away. off because I know no. there was like a leak on someone's camera phone and I thought I Zack know, Snyder yeah. had just gone, well, I'm sick of people watching this rubbish quality, just have yeah. the real thing. Which is what he does, which is what they're all doing these days anyway. Yeah, Since yeah, it starts yeah. They go, oh, sod it, just have yeah, it. Yeah, just have it, which is cool. <laughs> which is fair enough. Yeah. I wish we didn't get quite so many leaks and I'm sure we're going to be getting less, Yeah, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so it was four trailers just dropped and then boom, Fantastic Four trailer dropped as well. Before we watch the trailer, what was your thoughts about the Fantastic Four film before you watched this trailer? Before I watched the trailer, yeah. um, I don't know about everyone else out there, but I just didn't care. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people who doesn't mind saying, that's not my thing, I don't like this yeah. film adaptation. I like the comic book, but I wasn't keen on the films. I wasn't keen on the other films I did either. Yeah. I think Fox messed it up a bit. But, yeah, that was my general thoughts before. But I my, just wasn't disinterested, that's it. I, I was uh, actively loathing it. Because of all the rumours and stuff that we've been sort of getting, it had nothing to do with the comics. They weren't going to suit up. Some of the powers were going to be different. The family, the familial relationships were all going to be completely different. Yeah. Um, Doctor Doom was going to be a blogger. <laughs> um, and there was all these rumours that came out that were just, I think, designed to put us all off and to throw us in the wrong yeah, direction. Because definitely. then this trailer came out, and we shall play that trailer. And now. we'll play that now, and it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> thoughts afterwards. <laughs> Dr. Storm, we gave you six years and millions of dollars, and you gave us nothing. What's different now? Reed Richards. He knows answers to questions we don't even know to ask yet. This is our chance to learn more about our planet and maybe even save it. I want you to meet my daughter, Sue. You want to be famous? I just want my work to make a difference. John, Reed. This guy doesn't take orders well. Yeah, especially from people who say, I don't take orders well. Don't let any of these lab coats give you any crap, all right? Well, if I do, I know who to call. The muscle. I gotta say, it's fun having you here. Really? No. <laughs> what you've created here is incredible. 
You guys sure you're in the best shape to be doing this? Yeah. yeah. We're good. They just cracked interdimensional travel. Where are my children? Four have survived. All exhibit unique physical conditions. I just want to fix my friends. You can't fix this. You should use these powers to help people. You opened a door. You don't know how to close. You don't know anything about what's coming. What is coming? Doom. If you want to stop him, it's gonna take everything you have. How long until he's in? Two minutes. Might be a little less. <laughs> okay, first of all, Doctor Doom. Yes. Not a blogger, yeah. is he? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes. Um, yeah, that, that changed everything. It's got suits, it's got <clears throat> powers, right? What do you think of the thing? What th I've heard some people say that he looks weird because he's... His things are moving independently, mm. his rocks, but I like that. It's cool, it's Works a good upgrade me. because when they don't move... It, it's obvious that it looks like a suit. Yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? That was one of the big failings from the, um, the those original yeah, yeah, versions yeah, yeah. of the yeah. films. Just awful, big yeah, rubbish. We'll never speak of those again. No. Uh, uh, you can be really picky and say, I don't like his nose. Don't care. Who cares? It's awesome. I also like the part when he um, it jumps out of the plane. Yeah. It's very Hulk esque. Do you think that that thing that we saw there, <laughs> that thing, <laughs> the thing that we have just seen, the thing, that thing, yeah, can he take on? Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. <laughs> no. Do you not it's the think? Hulk. The Hulk is like... Would it be a good battle, though? Would it be... Yeah, a... Oh, yeah, it'd be epic. I mean, because in the comics, it's always like, right, the thing is now facing up against the Hulk. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's always a good battle. Oh, definitely. But the... Um, the I see the Hulk like DC's Batman. He always yeah, wins. He always wins. Always wins. And Apart so... from when the Punisher ends the uh, Marvel Universe. Of course, yeah. yeah. Or Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, my overall reaction to Fantastic Four, Batman, Star Wars, Rogues, Rogue One, the whole lot is that in total accumulated footage there that we've got is probably nine minutes, ten minutes worth of footage. Yeah. How the hell are, are we going to cope with like ten hours of that footage when it's you know two and a half hours of Batman, two and a half hours of, of Star Wars, two and a half hours of Rogue One, two and a half hours of Fantastic Four. But I'm not going to be able to handle it. I'm yeah. going to cry. Well, well, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit over the top at the minute because yeah. my constant mental state after watching everything is this. <laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah, pretty much. After watching the films, I mean, after I saw the first Avengers, I was like, yeah. constantly, a constant stream of, I can't even say, cause it's too rude for TV, yeah. even after the watershed, but you get what I mean, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm yeah. very excited. Overall, I'm, I, I'm Fantastic Four. That trailer has quelled a lot of my fears over it. It has. It's going to be a good film. It looks fun. It looks very much like they've, they've stolen from the Ultimates universe rather than yeah. traditional Universe 616 stuff. Happy do you not, with that? Do you not find it interesting that um, we kind of stopped caring as much about the films because it's kind of like we're just happy to have it? Yeah. So our childhoods are now coming to life in, in the cinematic un universe. It's all real footage and it's... Oh, so you know, yeah. when somebody casts somebody and it's not as that like the comments, it's like, you know what, I don't care, I'm just don't happy care. I've got it. Yeah. And I think that's what everyone should do, the kids that are moaning about it. Just You weren't around at the time when there was nothing like this. Yeah, right. And we had bat nipples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it's just love it, man. Just yeah, enjoy so it. it's not going to last forever. It's not going to last, so enjoy this while we can. This is literally the golden age of superheroes. Yeah, it happened with comics where it was like the golden age, silver age, yeah. and stuff like that. We're telling you now, we're predicting it. It's it's, yeah. it's certainly it's like an economic crash. It will the, happen. The, the bubble so will burst, absolutely. Yeah. Let's just enjoy it and love it. Well, we I don't think the Star Wars bubble will burst for a little while, but it, again, that will. Well, of course, yeah, of course they, will, the more yeah. content they make, the more chance that it's going to go wrong. Exactly. But for now, we're, we're at a, a you know, pinnacle, we're and on. let's just be just be overjoyed by it. Yeah. This whole crap about, oh, I don't really like DC films, I like Marvel. Get out of life, mate. I just love all this stuff. It's amazing. I mean, even when I was a kid, I didn't really care about the whole Marvel DC no. thing. Don't you feel that that's kind of gone down a bit? The studio seems, still seems to be battling, but... Yeah. I, I care less now. I'm still like oh, awesome man. I, I like Marvel. I like DC. I like yeah. I, uh, you know. I like Dark Horse. I like yeah. IDW. I like all of them. So I, I'm a big nerd, and this is nerd nerd Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> nerd Yeah, it's just brilliant, and you know, the more the merrier. And you know, I got Doctor Doom on screen. Yeah, Doom is my favourite. And he looks proper, and he hasn't got a stupid personality. Yeah, that just grates on you for the wrong reasons. What I like about that is. Um, <laughs> Josh Trank, the guy that's directing Fantastic Four, is the guy that directed Chronicle, hmm. which I really, really like as a film on its own, even though it's found footage. Um, still really like it. And it, I've always, I, from the first time I watched it, I said it felt like an origin story for Doctor Doom. Hmm. I, I, I can see that working with, with what we've just seen, Fantastic yeah, Four style. Definitely. So, yeah, kudos to, to Josh Trank. Moving on. Daredevil. To- Daredevil. Let's talk about Daredevil. Um, I know the bubbles burst a little bit with this now. Yeah, we're about a week late, aren't we? How so? First off, how did you feel about it all being dumped at once? Uh, yeah, love it. I, I think. Do you think it was the right choice to make? Absolutely, and I think all television should be dumped all at once, all thirteen yeah. episodes. If they do that with Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones will will own television. For the only a good week. the only bad point I can see is uh, it kind of it's 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 it started, it's happened, it's over now. Yeah. And now I'm like, okay, where's the next one? Yeah, no, but that's... Um, obviously, it's going to take another year, probably, for mm. them to make another Daredevil series. But that's okay, because they've still got... AKA Jessica Jones, yeah. Iron Fist, and Luke Cage. So yeah. they're going to be... Although they're going to be standalone series as well, like Daredevil is. Yeah. They're all going to tie in together. So as good as Daredevil was, when Jessica Jones is released... It's going to be like, ooh, they're going to do the same with that. There you go, it's 13 yeah, episodes. Yeah, 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 so yeah. we've actually got four series yeah. coming out in the first year. By the time we're through with them, they'll be ready be time for, for Daredevil Devil. 2. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that, makes that sense. works, yeah. I'm excited. And we're going to obviously, they are at some point going to start crossing over. Yeah. We've introduced Daredevil now. We can have him show up in Jessica Jones. Then Luke Cage can show up. And it's it's going to be it's going to be really cool. So, but Daredevil... What did you think? Right. Thoughts, initial thoughts. Okay, so are you, are you a fan of the character? <laughs> Sorry, yes. I just, I just thought of good things in the series, and yeah. I'm like, yes, I am a fan of the character. I am. I've never been a massive fan. I liked Frank Miller's run, uh, yeah. like Mark Wade's run. This was a nice combination of the two, and bang, nail on the head. They've, yeah. they've, they've got it so beautifully perfect. That yeah. I don't think I've read a single negative review, or I don't even think I've read a single negative tweet about it. The the, the bits I have read, like not tweets, because I'm not a bit, I'm not a big one for Twitter. Yeah. You are, but I'm not. Um, is uh, the the vin- quickly punched to the floor? Yeah, you know what I mean. Little people say, eh, not quite this, but I don't care because the rest of it was perfect. You know yeah, I mean? like for- the, the the fight scenes in the first episode. The coordination was a bit off. But yeah. It's like, doesn't matter. It was a pilot. Who cares? Let's move on. Yeah. Next one. It was that was that problem was sorted. Absolutely, all that yeah. kind of stuff. From from yeah, for me, I I didn't see us. My biggest problem with it from the moment they started announcing casting and stuff like that. My biggest problem was uh, I can't say his name. Vincent Dionfrio. Yeah, yeah. The guy that played the kingpin, Wilson yeah. Fisk. Um, I, I was like, oh my god. Well, he's just not big enough. Yeah, I also thought a, that yeah. it was a minor fault, you know. Because yeah. I know we're not going to find someone who's as big as <laughs> yeah, yeah, comic yeah, book yeah, character yeah, that's yeah. this huge. But I still thought they'd gone a bit low key with it. Yeah. But no, they hadn't. No, that he's so perfect. haven't. He's so he, he's big enough. It's realistic. Yeah. And just the way he moves and acts and the fight bit. Okay, this is going to obviously if you haven't seen Daredevil. Yeah, yet, then, let's just stop now. And if you haven't watched it all. Pause this. Go away. Come back in leave. thirteen hours. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you're you're an idiot and what you're doing with your life. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, the fight scene where he and Daredevil have their first, you know, proper punch up together. Yeah. In terms of, I guess, choreography in that, the way that they've got him to fight, it's just brute strength. So Daredevil can be leaping around all he likes, yeah, but he's yeah, getting yeah, punched yeah. in the face yeah. over and over. Once again. he's got him on the floor, he's just hammering him. Yeah. And it's so brutal. That was one, one of the things I did notice about the entire thirteen episodes was Daredevil really, really likes punching people in the face. <laughs> yeah, over yeah. and over again. It's kind of like because there's a lot of stuff where he's because he's still on the human. Yeah, he has certain. Superpowers, if you want to call yeah, it that, slightly he's enhanced, you know, yeah, senses. But he's still a man, and I like yeah. the fact that when he's knackered and nearly down and out, it's just throw a limb at a body part, <laughs> go on out, and he'll just do a flip. Yeah, and go, yeah get out of the world. Kind of yeah. half ass jumps off the wall, but yeah. it does its job. It's yeah, yeah it's it's function of the style. It's got that brutality sense. to it, oh, but yeah, very brutality. much real world as well. So yeah, but interestingly, we, we spoke about this before. Um, they were talking about Daredevil turning into a hard R Punisher. Yeah. Now, if, if that's not rated R already, yeah. I, that was brilliant. If if they made Punisher like that, I'd be happy. I'd be really happy with So that. if they're saying it's going to go even harder, that's brilliant. Then this is kind of a first for Marvel, being all yeah, dark, dark and broody. But it and still it works, kept man. its Marvel identity, yeah. which one is thing, cool. One thing that became really apparent that I don't think I'd ever really noticed in the comics is that the hero of the the series, Daredevil, is a liar. Yeah. Whereas the villain of the piece, Kingpin, is completely brutally honest with every single person in his life. Yes, and uh, uh, I absolutely love that. It's kind of the come at it from the opposite ends. Yeah. And then cross in the middle and then they do this. Because Daredevil starts out saying, no, I don't enjoy it. I do this because it has to be done. Yeah. And <clears throat> Kingpin is all... I don't want to be cruel. I hate being cruel. And you can tell he doesn't. He just does it. And it's like, he truly believes he's the good guy. Yeah. And there's absolute conviction there. And I don't doubt it. I feel like he believes it too. And the fact that they both do, but they're coming from opposite ends. Yes. There's complete conviction there. inevitable clash. Yeah. It's brilliant. It so works. Again, spoilers, but the bit right at the end where he tells that story uh, from the Bible. Yeah. And he's like, I always thought I was the... uh, the Traveller. That's right, yeah. I always thought I was the downtrodden one. He's like, I'm not, am I? I'm not. No, I'm the evil man. Yeah, I am the evil. And I... Oh, oh. Yeah. Yes. Just yes. too good. If you're not watching, or if you haven't seen Daredevil, then immediately Doing stop. life wrong. Yeah. So basically, I, I want to show a bit of a clip here now. It's one, okay, of, my, yeah. one of my favourite parts. It's, uh, I think, all done in one shot, so I'm just going to shut up and play it now, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah, cool. Stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Just, yeah. 
brutal, can't, can't fault close that. up detail, yeah. brilliant choreography, brilliant film work. Just so everyone's comparing that scene to Old Boy, where yeah. it's like one corridor, one shot, no yeah. cuts. I mean, it looks like there could have been some cheeky cuts in there. Could have been, yeah. We're saying to our audio guy the other day, he was saying it'd be really cool if. Um, the, the the producers of Daredevil were just to come out and say, yeah, we put those in in case we needed to cut, but we didn't need to in the end. It was yeah. one shot. Yeah. That'd be really cool. I'm happy with that shot. Either way, it just it's so good. Yeah, and that so is good. just one highlight in... A very, yeah. very good series. It's usually, I like to binge watch because if there's a bit of a slow episode, yeah. I ain't got to wait a week to be excited about the programme again. Yeah, right. But there was literally no episodes in that where I wasn't constantly on the edge of my seat excited yeah. you know I, mean? I waited up for hours one of the <laughs> tricks one of the tricks that they they did use was um none of the scenes where there's two characters just having a, a conversation none of those lasted longer than two minutes yeah so the thing just kept Very moving snappy. forward yeah. all at the time uh, in terms of both the, the story and the character development and everything Everything was boom, boom, yeah, boom. Yeah, let's, yeah. Oh, let's move, too slow. Let's move on. And let's move on. Just yeah. brilliant, brilliant. So if you're not watching Daredevil or you haven't seen it, do it. <laughs> um, that's pretty much that's all the big news. If we just go over a couple of the little bits, uh, just to finish everything off. Okay, yeah. What okay, you got? hit me with them. Uh, we got. Do you remember the kid, the bat kid? I remember back kid. From what was that? Last summer or the summer before? <laughs> sorry, I vomited in my mouth. Yeah, Make a Wish Foundation kid dressed up as Batman. Oh, sorry, I apologise. That sounds really bad now. I was, <laughs> I was thinking of that other vomiting thing. Over you know, six what, children. Yeah, you know, when it's like junior Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. It makes me feel. It makes me vomit. The, the, okay. the idea of them going. We need to appeal to kids. kids. Let's, let's make kids stuff. Batman. So, shut up. No. Yeah. Just, just make Batman. But but, a, yeah, the Bat Kid was cool. Yeah, so they're making a film of that. Yeah, yeah. So telling the story of this kid, uh, Make a Wish Foundation, the whole of it, San Francisco came out and yeah. uh, came to cheer him on and he solved a crime. He stopped a bank robbery. Yeah, basically, yeah. someone turns up with a robbing outfit and goes, There you go, that's yours. Now take him to the helicopter. And it's yeah. him and Batman in this helicopter. Yeah. They arrive at a stadium to catch the Riddler or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the stadium's full, cheering for him, and he's like yeah. the hero of the day. And it, oh, it was amazing. Amazing. Newspapers joined in and they gave him great big front pages Bat Kid saves the city and all this yeah. stuff. Yeah. So that's that's coming out. That's coming out uh, summer prime summer release date. Uh, my favourite news: uh, we talked about Evil Dead, the new Evil Dead film. Yes, Bruce Campbell has just been. This hasn't been confirmed, so this is just rumour. But uh, been approached to be the new Starship captain in a J.J. Abrams directed Star Trek film. Oh, uh, sorry, not film. TV series. TV series. Yeah. I didn't see that coming. No. Because I knew he wasn't directing Star Trek 3, but I thought that was because it was like, yeah. I'm quitting while I'm ahead type thing. Yeah, yeah. But a TV series. TV series could be done a new, a new good TV series for a while. With Bruce Campbell as a captain. <laughs> 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 yes! Bring it on. I like how he uses old, like, cool things from the 80s yeah. in films. Like when he used, oh, I can't remember his name now, but Robocop, basically. They yeah. they used Robocop as a captain. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> it's Robocop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter Weller. The Peter Weller, that's yeah, yeah. it. Because I love his voice, it's just perfect. It's cool, I just love Robocop. Yeah, yeah. But, um, oh, that's awesome, a new TV series. So, yeah, oh, that's... It'll be. I'm excited. Happy days. I'm going to go days. now, I need to watch Star Trek. Yeah, so, um, so we could do that. Let's go and watch Star Trek. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, if you, if you want to argue with us, which you're more than welcome to, it's cool, man. Everyone's uh, entitled to their Absolutely, wrong... Absolutely, yeah. To their wrong opinions. To their wrong ones, yeah. Uh, our uh, e- email address is just there, and our Twitter account is just there. Just there. Don't look anywhere else, it's just there. Okay. <laughs> So come, come tell us, come tell us your thoughts, yeah. and tweet. we will see you. Sorry, I just want to say tweet, tweet, tweet. I understand tweet. I don't understand emails. I don't reply to them. <laughs> I do the emails. Yeah, you do the emails. I, do I don't tweets. know how Twitter works, man. Yeah. It's weird. It's some horrible figurative wasteland that I just don't get. It's full of bat nipples. Yeah, that's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I live on it. Anyway, yes, yeah, so our email address there, yep. Twitter account there, and we will see you next week. I've been Christopher Meddings, and I've been Carl Hughes. Yeah.